it's the it's the title of the book. Yeah. The Viscount Who Loved Me. Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. Season two, episode eight of Bridgerton. The Viscount That Loved Me. Well, uh, we do have a Viscount in love. We have a future mm. Viscountess that is quite mm. injured at the moment. Yes, yes. Mm. She went full Bonnie Blue Butler. Yeah, she might also be pregnant. I don't know if I oh. um, really trust those two to have um, done a done a Simon, shall we say? They had full sex in his backyard so, while everyone was inside. So I, I don't, don't know how safe the they control were. control to really yeah. <laughs> stop that situation. Yeah, correct. But she would be like super super newly pregnant so yeah it's by the time they're married it will not matter. even implanted at this point so stop <laughs> do we have do we have any predictions going to this finale um uh i i guess i think eloise eloise is in is in the stinker is in the stinker pot right now yeah it's not yeah it's not good and i think She's going to have to reconcile something with this boy because he is in a lot of trouble too. And mm-hmm. um, so um, I think that we'll do the reveal of Penn and Eloise this episode because we've been really building to it and it just feels right that that'll happen in this episode. Um, I think we're going to get a boxing match. If not, I don't know why they teased us with it in episode one. Um, that Mm -hmm. might be a little more wishful thinking. Um, It's great though. Let's put that out there. I think. um, Oh, the Featheringtons are, I don't think they're going to get their comeuppance because I think we might let the scam storyline go into the next season with them. Oh yeah. I don't think it's going to be done this season. I do think that Lady Featherington and uh, Lord Featherington are going to get down to business and defeat the Huns. Um, Yes. (laughs) uh, I think, I mean, obviously um, he's going to rescue Kate uh, he's right. gonna stay by her bedside and then they're gonna get married yeah. and I can only hope that uh Edwina finds happiness somewhere yes. oh my god yes that is very and important I to me. hope that uh poetry boy is who does it after her yeah he was cute and she liked him yeah and he was soft and we enjoyed yeah. that for him yeah a yeah. good match for her a good match all indeed. right Let's see. Let's start this. Let's All find right. out. Stay with me. Come on now. Oh, God. Did she hit that rock and then... I feel like you should support her head. Yeah, what she appears hell? to have a head and neck energy injury. Like, are you kidding me? Anthony! She has a cut from the back of her head. I kept pressure on it, but it needs stitching. Yeah, you didn't. We saw her head dangling yeah, free. Yeah, you... Don't lie to us. I think this will be free to the sister. What happened? It's My valets will you carry Michelle uh, inside? Is she alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do not let the sun go down on your. Are you alright? It is all my fault. You didn't trip her horse. Yeah. So. Anthony. Anthony. He's not going to be at her bedside. Ugh, what a twist. He's going to pace. Yes. Next. I do hope Whistledown picks up her pen again in time to write about my forthcoming nuptials. Perhaps she rested her pen so she did not have to write about such an uninteresting <laughs> affair. Perhaps she was- will not set foot into that household. What is this dress, ma'am? She time traveled to 1976. Do you not think it's time for us to spend some of our earnings? Our coffers are practically overflowing. You guys should go on a mini break. Lord Featherington and I would like to give a ball. Excellent idea. So that we may finally celebrate our engagement. (laughs) (laughs) We will call it the Featherington Ball. How original. (laughs) I was about to say. (laughs) That's just your name, so. 
but let everyone be allowed to finally see how well we we're need doing. a finale. It is exactly. Can't have one without a party. Only to discover that you seem to have taken out a rather large sum. Whatever for. Was exploring an investment with Lord Featherington. This is just what makes for difficulties in this household. No one gives any thought as to how it must be managed. Yes, one in twenty, brother. Is no one in this family allowed to make their own decisions? You keep your doodling, and do not ask me to speak of your activities. I would not know where to begin. I'm going to punch him directly in the nose. <laughs> he is such a little hypocrite. Doodling away, I suppose. I do have so much to read. I have my Latin. Remember when you were worried about everyone in your family hating you? Oops, I guess it's true. I do not know. I have not. You have not been to see her? It has been a week. Have I not made it clear that I've been busy? Oh, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. I do not have time for this. Well, perhaps you might wish to make time. Perhaps you wouldn't want to be a full fucking asshole for two minutes, Antony. Just a thought. This is also how I look when I'm sick and confined to bed. Just like a pure angel. It's honestly mean. It's mean to me <laughs> when I wake up on a regular day looking like crap. I seem to have some time on my- I like when she wears a wig like that. I know, her wig is- The big great. like halo. Mm -hmm. Keeping the elder Miss Sharma in mind until, as we hope, she recovers from her fall. Of course. A few necklaces to express my sympathies. That is kind of you. It's not a problem. Do you believe anyone else is bound for the aisle this season? Are you expecting me to believe that not one person got a proposal this season? Us all some good to find new interests. It's like, yeah, I got my snuff box. Mind your business, well, and by your business, I mean this bar. It needs tender. Listen to your wife. Mr. Bridgerton, you cannot be entertaining any of this in oh, okay. earnest. He's not. The man is a sweet I man. beg your pardon, my lord. The Featheringtons are a fine family whose reputation has been most unfairly traduced. I would be very careful of the accusations you make in future, as it hardly seems you can afford to drive away any more patrons. You know what? Invest everything. Yeah, Colin. Writers, you did a great job of getting me to care about him. Yeah, I can't I wait for his story. I have a lot of feelings where he's concerned. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the families here will begin asking for a return on their investments before long. Yeah, did, did we have a plan? Yeah, what? Perhaps you should watch the Tinder Swindler. Correct. The trick is to always have the next group on deck. <laughs> you do know that America has no royalty. You could be their queen. <laughs> Think about it. in the park and the fall. I remember fucking in a garden. <gasps> Lord Bridgerton come to see me. He, he rescued you in the park. Gallantly, in fact. He brought you back here several days. <laughs> Don't smack him on the head and say, why don't you come visit me, you little jerk. You are going to have to discuss his avoidance issue. Because yeah. he can't disappear every time things get tough, right. you know, for the rest right. of your lives. This is what I would like to have seen them work through in marriage. Yes. yes, exactly. Although maybe he'll be more present in the future seasons because he still has to, like, run the family. There is one thing that has given me at least some modicum of solace. It's knowing that I would still choose the life I led with him each and every time. And I would undoubtedly feel the same pain I felt all over again if I had to, because real, true love is worth it. I should, however, like to dress you down. Ooh. 
as foolish as it is for you to be poking around like this when I know what Whistledown recently wrote of you. <laughs> the accent slipped. She said, <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> Been gossip about you and a man from the lower classes for weeks. You had to have heard people talking. Who? Who is talking? Servants. Those who have heard it from their houses. Well, my, my sister asked me. About uh oh. I look forward to the day when things will return to how they used to be between us. Oh, that's gaslighting. Correct. <laughs> I'm glad to see you blossoming, Bridgerton. I'm glad to see you blossoming, Bridgerton. Your brother's large donation to the academy. It's what secured your play. Uh, yikes. We got Aunt Becky. <laughs> oh, no. I call on you to apologize. You deserved so much more than that. Say more about what more? I deserved. Because <laughs> I thought like... I got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm happy to explore I to what else I I'm deserve. I'm to ask her to marry me. I'm here. What are you doing? I'm asking no, no, you. No, no, my lord, I, I do not. I'm returning to India. It is decided. Why don't you begin with saying that you love her? Yes. Are we going to have to walk you through this whole process, Anthony? Lady Danbury has kindly offered to sponsor my mother and sister for another season. I'm certain oh. they would do perfectly well. Take your head at her. You are also a disaster person. You are running away. Oh, I the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get pregnant by a shop boy, it's not going to lead to like a hot romance story. It's going to lead to your life being over. You will have to literally live at the country house for the rest of your life and see no one. I would never. No, this, this whole thing, it is, it is absurd. Yeah, Eloise just saw the same future you did. And, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. Are you? You just need to tell mom that you love him. You know, she'd be like, you know what? It's not the future I envisioned for you, but you're going to get into way more trouble if we <laughs> extend this. I care about you. And if we continue on like this, I cannot live with myself if you are the one who has to face the consequences. You dipped your toe into my waters trying to make yourself feel better about the unknown advantages of your birth. Okay, but what did you expect her to do, sir? Like, she, she this genuinely will ruin you as well. So, she, uh, yeah, she has no money. It's not, she isn't Lady Whistledown. So, if she threw everything away and got with you. I do not like to see Eloise cry. Your best dress. She's in her villain clothes now. Because I am unsure I like the young ladies we have both been playing. Might we bring our new selves to this ball the Featheringtons are giving tonight? I love this journey for Edwina. Yeah. That's nice that she got an arc. You seem to have a melancholy heartbreak about you. What would you know about heartbreak? I have felt it in paintings, in a Gainsborough portrait or... Meanwhile, I am actually sad, not like feeling it from paintings. <laughs> Parading around ballrooms in feathered frocks, pretending to be someone I am not. I don't want to hear this unless she's going to invent lavender marriages, you know? Keep teasing us by making all of these scenes between these two. To be the like, queer ones in the family. Right, right. It's going on a dog collar? What is, what is happening? That's a whole other thing you need to work out if that he's chewing on a dog collar. Oh, no. He yelled at me. Thinks I am stupid. Who are you, little one? One's called Gregory. I... He shared your love of a prank. <laughs> Did he? He wants to put glue in Benedict's shoes. <laughs> His own son, Savage. <laughs> he was going to ask me out of mere obligation, some misguided notion of duty after the two of us. Uh... <laughs> 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 Tops. Tops. 
talked in uh, alone in a room. We talked alone, uh, in, a room. alone in a room, and that Which was highly, highly proud to Paul. Oh, I really love that they had. We had these scenes of the mothers apologizing for like parentifying the older child. A really, really good um, way to do that. And a lot of people were saying like that. I guess is trying to replace the library scene is these scenes of showing like how they did bond over the fact that um, they had to take on the weight of the family as Mm -hmm. opposed to the death witnessing being the things that bond them. And I don't have any uh, place of comparison because I didn't read the book, but I, I do think that this they're showing the maternal and child relationship really well. Yeah. I thought it was just going to hug her. (laughs) It's like, sometimes we all just need a hug from mom, you know? Oh, yeah. And the villain look is complete with this updo. Pen. Oh. Oh. Enjoy your evening. Me neither. (laughs) So your lady whistled down, sir. It's over. (laughs) She's gone for good. I suppose now we can finally speak of other things. (laughs) That's right, seek of Lord. Oh, Pen, Pen, Pen. Recently spent a good deal of time with Miss Goring in a closet. For what I cannot imagine. Where did you hear that? Miss Goring is there. There it is. Alongside the lemonade there table. There it is. See- what a keen observation, Pen. Mm. I'm glad you decided to come. I could not miss out on one last. I don't love the orange. <laughs> I mean, she has a, that's not a color she's worn all season. I'd rather see her in one of her signature yeah. colors. Same. Where's the teal? I mean, like, she looks beautiful in anything. But... Of course. And should your brush with death not be our best social capital yet? Aww. You realize you're dancing with a ruined Bridgerton, Miss Carper? I enjoy keeping people alive. I really want Cresta to find love. Go jealous, Mr. Bridgerton. Dazzling. Except the clasp is broken. Is it? Might I mend it for you? When I said that I hoped Cressida found love. Honestly, I. Come with me. Did he just steal this necklace off of Cressida's neck to give to Penn? It could be thought quite scandalous for the two of us. There are no gemstone mines in Georgia. Well, I have looked into him. I believe he is nothing but a mere charlatan. What? Penelope, Mr. Bridgerton. What is the meaning of this? That this necklace is a fraud made of glass. She did tell you not to mess with the Bridgertons. It is out of concern for their reputation alone that I will only address this matter in private. But I expect you to return all of the funds you have collected and leave town at once. Thank goodness for Mr. Bridgerton. I can't believe it was so cheap that, like, a light hit shattered it. Yeah, what happened to the, um, the expert? Yeah. <laughs> I love a villain marriage. Me too. Are those fake around your neck? So how did Colin figure this out? After he was so rude and condescending to the boxer. I, yeah, I guess we're expected to believe that he, like, looked into it after that conversation with the boxer but i wish he didn't have to be such a dick about it beforehand yeah i didn't love the imagery of the two landed gentry white men right talking down yeah Yeah. the um yeah i didn't love it either we should continue to keep our distance between us in light of perhaps we should not you were the first person I found. Oh. How many? <laughs> oh, they're cute. Hmm? Are you going to ask me to dance? One last time. Are you going to say yes? I can't believe them. Why do they do this to us? Under your spell. Do you want to stop? Oh. Heard that one before. No one else matters. (laughs) The 
queen's like juicy i ship <laughs> that why the sister's wedding was abandoned no duh you little twit <laughs> i think they look beautiful together beautiful indeed do they not this hair right now amphitheater around her crown I yet told you about my nephew he is a prince and he is available <gasps> little what's his name the blondie from yeah he's gonna one. come back That's okay cute. yeah i would i, I want to see it though guys i want to see it please we can't just have it like said in a one-off line oh edwina and her prince are so happy he really is a bad dancer i thought maybe that was a character choice he was making early in the season he's so awkward <laughs> it's kind of cute it is cute No, no, guys. You oh, really no. cannot make out on the dance floor, guys. No, no. <laughs> Where do you think you are? <laughs> Everyone, outside. I have a surprise for you all. Oh, I guess it is her ball. I was like, um... <laughs> Why are we shaking our head again? What was that dance except for an agreement of a proposal to marriage? I don't understand. Oh, boy. Here it is. The confrontation part two. Hello, Heath. Good. Where did you get all of this money? Hello, what are you doing going through my thing? Answer things? me. It's none of your business. It's literally my business. Not just the content or subject, but the pattern. It sounded written. But not actually, because all we've ever heard Lady Whistledown say is a tortured metaphor. You've been reading too much Whistledown. Her voice is okay, Pen. She lifted your floorboards. How you were one of the only people who could have known about Miss Thompson's pregnancy. Hello, you could have cost to Miss Thompson, to my brother, to my entire family, to your entire family. You have no idea how horrible it's felt to keep this. Family. All right, it's been really hard for me to have, hide the bad thing I was doing. Requested here in this very room. Writing your secret little scandal sheet, tarnishing everyone in town all because you are too scared to stand up for yourself. Ooh, Eloise went in. An insipid wallflower indeed. Ooh, this was also a good acting moment for Eloise. At least I did something. Pen, I think you need to keep your mouth shut. You have all these great ambitions, these great plans, but I am the one who actually did something great and you cannot stand it, can you? Oh boy. I don't know if this was the best tack. I wish to... never to see or speak to you again. I know we like to set up her and Colin as in game, but truly they have long, like if it was a normal TV show, their friendship has the most like end game potential mm -hmm. for in terms of like dramatic um yeah. tension uh in both of their lives because both of their main conflicts in both season one and season two were each other and their friendship mm -hmm. yeah i've instructed the maids to pack up all your things essential things at least with enough money to get you on a boat back to america and out of our lives <laughs> <laughs> i thought we were leaving together felt wrong. I'm a theories regular. Portia, we are a team. No, I told you not to bother Bridgertons and you sucked one in. So... Do you honestly expect anyone to believe that such a confident, well-spoken man needed a woman to help him form his plan? A woman who was a victim herself, having invested the last dregs of her money into this very scheme. There is a record of it. I will keep a large share of the money to support myself and my young ladies. And I had Mrs. Varley forge a signature on a document stating that as soon as one of us has a son, the estate shall pass to them. Varley has excellent penmanship, you see. I love her. She's amazing. She's incredible. <laughs> She's thinking 10 steps ahead. She is. She is the Disney if you're villain be a we deserve. Scammer, you have to be a damn good one. And I love this for her. You are cruel. I am a mother. <laughs> yes! She said.
said, I am a mother. Oh, amazing. You really liked her ambition before. How you feeling about it now, buddy? Could have made better fakes. That seems like your last chance of like lust and love even maybe, but you know what? You're a dowager. There's not a lot of scandal left for you. You can find you can yourself bring a cute boy mm-hmm. into the house. He can be a footman. Mm-hmm. Penelope Featherington, the way you were dancing with her looked rather interesting. Oh. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Ah, are you mad? I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Not in your wildest fantasies, Fife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I I really don't know what the writers are doing with these boys. Like, how do you come back from that? That's awful. Don't worry. She loses weight. And so then he's into I it. can't even talk about that. I would never read her book ever. I didn't finish it. <laughs> I, I was too mad. Yeah. It, it, mm, I, it, uh-uh. I've loved you from the moment we raced each other in that park. I've loved you at every dance. On every walk, every time we've been together and every time we've been apart, you don't have to accept it. You don't have to embrace it or even allow it in your heart. You must feel it because I This was a much better proposal, Anthony. I love you. I might love him a little bit too. You do know there'll never be a day where you do not vex me. Is that a promise, Kathani Shama? Like if you work in the house, in their house, I would just like never look into the garden, you know? You were right about the new Lord. Okay, thank God. I must apologize for how I acted the other day. It was what I needed. Shonda, I'm sorry I doubted you. Knows that better than me. Like even here, we're mirroring them. Both like crying out their window, looking at the fireworks. Yeah. You did this. I walked into this episode resigned, and then you pulled it all back I'm up so again. Sorry. I'm, it's okay. I'm a shipper at heart. Thought wrong. And if there is. She's writing again? Lady Whistledown. Bold. Bold pen. Okay. They gave us a little. Uh, <laughs> a treat. Viscountess. They have a teal bed. Is meeting your family outside before they realize we are ignoring them. They know where you are, okay? Yes, yes, they do. Again with the bees, guys. Rude. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that baby is so cute. Have mind? You probably keep to pink, Anthony. I rather think that it will match the shade of your embarrassment when you use it. You should! Oh, oh. I suppose. New turn! New turn. <laughs> I love that, that he's tried to strong arm the dog. <laughs> Alright, this is a bit much. I mean, I'm here for it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's giving me. Why am I thinking of what a girl wants? <laughs> So there we have it. We finished too. Bridgerton. Oh, that was great. Their relationship was good. I enjoyed them a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now I'm wondering who's next because it's it's Benedict's book next. But Benedict, Eloise, and Colin are all Topped. set up to mm-hmm. where it could be their season. I feel like the showrunners did that on purpose. I feel like they wanted to see if we liked Benedict enough this season yet. I personally, I know you guys like him. I am way more interested in both Eloise and Colin than I am Benedict at the moment. Just because I feel like they've done a better job of setting up their conflict. Like they, Mm -hmm. both of those two storylines are like already rife with conflict with characters we've already met and know. 
Yeah. So yeah. They're more interesting to me at the moment. Do I ultimately think that Eloise and <laughs> Penelope should be together? Yes. <laughs> but that's n- neither here nor there. Um, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see what with who what happens with Eloise's actual love interest. I actually liked the one they introduced this season. I know she can't go back to him, but I I just think that also just makes way more sense for her is to marry mm-hmm. someone not like in high society. I was worried because I did not think she had any chemistry with her love interest in her book, which was really disappointing because I was very excited for her book and like knowing the summary I was like oh I think I'm gonna love this plot I don't understand how two characters in a book cannot have chemistry and yet they didn't so hopefully I personally am not feeling the love with him I don't know what their plot is honestly in the book I have no idea the drama I only know that he's um married to um what's her name um Marina Marina right now and I was more interested in his plot if he was going to, like, love Marina. <laughs> yeah, I was too. When that was introduced in season one, I was like, oh, okay, I'm into this. Like, you know, I mean, yeah. of course, it is our our favorite plot, forced marriage. And yeah. then having to, like, fall in love with each other. Which Right, is nice. forced marriage, raising kids. Like, these are things that I search every single time. This is, <laughs> right. they're my... <laughs> cuppas so yeah. um yeah so the the I was actually pretty sad we didn't get like the marina him love story and I understand why now but like right. at the beginning I was like why aren't we getting that tale yeah. anyway you know I think they changed book two a whole amount and managed to make it really fantastic and romantic and and great chemistry I mean I would assume that before they cast that guy in season one he had to do chemistry reads you know knowing yeah. that he was eventually going to be Eloise's love interest so hopefully they'll they'll pull it out they'll make it happen they'll make it I happen. I hope so because Eloise is I think quite notably a fan favorite of a lot of people yeah. of the show like everybody is waiting I think for Eloise's season yeah so it would be a real bummer if she doesn't get like great chemistry gate great characterization right. right you know um I I really enjoyed um Edwina in this season as we've talked about over and over again so I really hope they don't marina her like I really <laughs> hope we get to see her fall in love as a B plot next season yeah uh with um Lady Danbury sponsoring her yeah I think we do you think that we're gonna have Kate and uh Anthony in next season because they still live at the the Bridgerton they estate. They okay, I would imagine with the fan reaction, people really love them as a couple specifically, which I think is maybe a little bit different than Daphne and Simon. And like with him not coming back, I think it was specifically people were upset about him not coming back because he is very hot and everyone wanted to see him in the show mm-hmm. versus specifically being like. I'm so invested in them together that I can't not see them. So I'm hopeful that that means will they will, you know, make sure we have both Kate and Anthony. And also I think as the books go on, they sort of integrate the whole family together more versus it being just like super focused. I don't know. There was a lot of like C plot in this season and I would much rather the C plot be like Kate and Anthony having their latest fight and making up versus yes. like <laughs> whatever Featherington drama. I mean, as much as I enjoy those characters, it isn't necessarily relevant to the plot. Overall, I'm going to say I I rank it above season one. It's definitely got a lot of rewatch ability for me. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, as I said, it really helped erase my Jonathan Bailey, I can't stand Eunice from watching him in W1A. I think now he's precious and Anthony is a cute little shit. And yeah, yeah I think he 
is freaking adorable. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Um, yeah. 10 out of 10. We'll be watching again. Um, can't wait to be watching the end of last episode while I'm not being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, that's so- only the second thing we've watched where we filmed ourselves watching sex scenes. And, and um, it is a little bit the vibe of like watching a movie with your parents. And yes. And sex scenes, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. You're like, like- how I can't, there's a limit to how into this I could get. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of the new subscribers and new people who are chiming in. It's been really fun getting to know you in the comments. And hey, we have some openings in our schedule going forward. So give us your thoughts down below. What's some stuff that you'd like us to watch? I got to be honest with you guys. We've probably seen most of the same things as you guys because we're clearly vibing but <laughs> if there are movies and tv shows that you think maybe one or both of us hasn't seen that you'd like us to watch for the channel give us some suggestions we're looking for new stuff and subscribe to our channel give this video a like share it with all your friends and hey this is we're at the end of the show so there's no more spoilers to be worried about so put all of your thoughts down below we can't wait to meet you guys in the comments and we'll catch you next time bye bye